are looking at one million square feet of trucking euphoria. This is the Mid-America Trucking Show, the largest of its kind in the Western Hemisphere, and you now have a front row seat. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Louisville, Kentucky, and the Trucking Industry Event of the Year. There's plenty of excitement here at the Kentucky Fair and Exposition Center, and we're going to uh, share that excitement with you. A good deal of the enthusiasm is centered on the all-new Super Duty F650 and 750 trucks. True trucking enthusiasts know that Ford builds the best trucks in the industry, and they've been looking forward to the introduction of the F650 and 750. Now today's program is going to take you to the highlights of this amazing event, and then we're going to zero on on the newest additions to the F-Series truck family. And joining us here today at the show are two special guests. First of all, we're going to introduce you to Tom Steckel, who's the Super Duty F-650 and F-750 brand manager. Good morning, Mary. Happy to be back with you today. I'm tempted to say thanks for joining us today, but the truth is thank you for allowing myself and the sales consultants to join you at this great show. No, we, we want you here. We really like it get a great place to find out all you need to know about the trucks. And sitting next to Tom is a new guest here, to me anyway, on Ford Star. It's uh, Phil Bonfani, and you're in the newly position of, newly created position of commercial truck sales and marketing, and we appreciate you being here as well. Well, thanks for having me. It's great to be uh, back in the south, if you will, and out of the cold tundra of Michigan right now. And this is just a, a fabulous event. Uh, and I'm really happy to be part of the commercial truck team. All right. Well, I think our sales consultants are going to be happy to have you join the F-Series family because this is a newly, uh, a new position, newly right. appointed position. And I understand right off the bat that it means, wow, Ford's getting serious about trucks. You now have your own sales and marketing position. How much of it will you encompass and, and what will the focus be? And you might want to hold your mic up just a little okay. closer because it's getting loud in the background. Okay. Thank you. Uh, this is a new positioning, but a uh, new position, but Ford has always been dedicated to trucks and has been the truck leader. And um, we have made a commitment to the commercial truck business. Uh, the commercial truck business has doubled in the last five years and it's going to represent probably about 20 percent of our profits. We also feel like there's a lot of growth in that business, not only for the company, but more importantly for the dealers and the sales consultants. We have the most intense lineup in the commercial truck arena starting from the E-150 to the F-750 which we'll feature later on today. Uh, that business will be our core commercial truck business. We're also fortunate enough to have the best dealer network in the United States so we feel like we have a win-win position uh, to capture and be the dominant force in commercial trucks. Now my position, what we want to accomplish is to make sure that we provide the dealers and the sales consultants with the best sales support and service support possible in the industry. And right now over the past three weeks and we'll continue for a couple more weeks, we're out calling on dealers, we're calling on salespeople to find out exactly what they need to do to make us and them the industry leaders in commercial trucks. Wow, that's great news. All right, well, we appreciate you joining us today, and uh, we're going to move on and start talking about these great new vehicles, because that's a start, right? you got to know what you have to offer before right. you can sell them. That's correct. All right. Thanks for By the me. way, uh, during today's broadcast, we're also going to hear from Guy Bertram. He's the commercial truck brand manager, and he's going to be detailing the competitive opportunities as well as the potential for increased dealer profits with the 650 and 750 trucks. Also, Barb Samarsic, who's the chief engineer, is going to be taking us on a very comprehensive and informative walk around on the vehicle. You're not going to want to miss that. It's great information. So clearly, the group joining us today really does have the in-depth knowledge of the new entries, and they're going to be sharing this expertise with you. This is the 28th year for the trucking show, and it just keeps growing, and you can tell people are here testing out all the equipment. It's estimated that over 70,000 people from across the United States as well as 45 countries will tour the exhibit. Now these are decision makers who will closely examine every product. There are 1,000 exhibitors at this massive event and they go from everything from huge, huge semi trucks to garbage trucks. What else have we seen out there, Tom? Oh, we've seen some tow trucks and some uh, panel delivery trucks and a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Accessories galore and uh, you just saw some of our competitors there on the tape. But one of the busiest exhibits, and we're not exaggerating, is right here behind us and that's the Ford exhibit. Must be very exciting for you, especially knowing you're launching the 650 and 750 here. Oh, 
it's, it's very exciting for us. I was going to start to ask you what the customers have been saying about the vehicles, but you know what? Let's hear it directly from uh, their own mouths. Well, this, for the truckers, it means everything. This, all the new technology is, is introduced here, and you get to meet up with a lot of new um, company representatives that can bring you up to date on what's happening in our industry. It's everything within the trucking industry. You've got every piece of equipment you could possibly want, every accessory they have. It's just a great show. It's an opportunity for us to get out and really see what's available in the industry now and make some decisions about what products we want to buy for our company going forward. But this gives us a concentration to be able to see a lot of the customers in a short period of time. Well, we were big fans of the F700 and the 800, and we were really disappointed when they stopped production on those. And we've been waiting to see what was going to replace those. And the 650s and the 750 looks like uh, the truck that we were hoping for. It'll still meet our needs from a GVW standpoint, uh, and it's got some increased power and obviously some more attractive features as well. <laughs> That customer just put it best. One thing that's really apparent after you look at the various exhibits is how Ford stands above the crowd. Now, Guy Bertram, commercial truck brand manager, says that was the whole idea. Extra effort was made to make the new F650 and 750 trucks easier to service and sell, and that's what sets Ford apart from the competition. One of the things we really wanted to do was when, as we came out with a replacement product for the old uh, F800, was make this product much more seamless as we uh, went from where Super Duty currently ended at F550 and then went up from there to the higher GVW range. And one of the things that was many times was a hurdle for dealers in order to uh, sell and service this uh, truck was the powertrain uh, availability, which before, especially in the outgoing product, was just F800 with the, with the Cummins engine. So if a dealer didn't want to or couldn't get certified for Cummins, he really couldn't sell that truck. So we decided, and a decision we made about a year and a half ago was that we wanted to put the Power Stroke engine in there, and not only just the Power Stroke engine, but had to have the same electronics that control the engine as the rest of the line, so that a dealer who can already uh, service the F550 can just move up to 650 and 750 and doesn't have to take any more steps. But if he wants to go ahead and really take advantage of the whole breadth of the lineup, he can also certify with Cat and Cummins. We only require a, a maintenance and a light duty level of certification, which can be done usually for about $4,000, and that includes parts and special tools. And he can go ahead and take those steps with Cat and Cummins and then be able to offer the whole lineup to the, uh, to the customer. But if he doesn't want to, just wants to put his toe in the water to, to uh, start with, that's why we put the Power Stroke engine uh, there, and that can really service a broad uh, array of the customers that are out there. There are a lot of truck options out there, and you know that customers are going to want to upfit this truck to meet their specific needs. So once again, Guy Bertram offers his advice on the safest bets for you to keep in stock. We have a kind of a great support system out there, whether you be a dealer who's just starting to get into a business or established dealers use that same system, and that is the um, uh, network we have of authorized upfitters who also many times are also authorized pools that have these vehicles in stock, both incomplete and complete, but normally uh, completed vehicles. And because they're very regional in nature, there are very good consultants to a dealer as far as what's the best kind of vehicle to, uh, to stock, and they can get it to the dealer in usually just a matter of a couple of days once they know what, uh, what vehicle they need. But beyond that, we also recommend the dealer always keep an inventory, some incomplete vehicles uh, also. And for a dealer who hasn't done that before, then I'd recommend as kind of a way you, you never get hurt is just start with the lowest GVW trucks. I'd stock a 26,000 GVW truck, probably a regular cab to start with. If you're going to stock a couple of them, then I'd also do a super cab because that's really our newest product offering that we think is going to have a lot of uh, draw. Do it in the longest wheelbase. That way, if a guy needs a shorter truck, he knows that it's going to cost him a couple hundred bucks to shorten it up. It's never a big deal for them. It's very easy to do. And uh, also then I would stock it with, if you're not currently certified in either the CAT or the Cummins engines and you don't, you're not prepared to take that step yet, then order the truck with a 7.3 liter power stroke. It'll serve a wide array of customers unless it's the very heaviest duty cycle that someone's going to have where they might need a Caterpillar engine. The uh, 7.3 power stroke will more than uh, do the job. He's already certified and can service that in the back. He doesn't need to do any additional training. And he'll be all set. And after he sells some of those, he'll kind of get used to now what the customers want, and then he can expand as he, into other forms of the product as he sells more of them. We told you we had a wealth of information for you today. Joining us now is a new guest. It's Dave Tarrant, who's the Super Duty F650 and 750 
Fleet Brand Manager, and he's here to help answer your questions about the new trucks as well. Those of you that have seen Dave on previous shows know he's the guy that pulls out the calculator. You know all the nitty-gritty stuff about these axle ratios and GVWs, so uh, we're glad to have you here. It's always great to be here. Very much, Mary. Thank you. And what do you think, just in brief, about the show? I'm looking right now. In fact, we should probably turn the cameras for a second and catch some of these people. We've got a crowd of people actually gathering to watch the show, but they're really interested in trucks, aren't they? Absolutely. These are the hardcore truckers of America. It's a great place to meet them. They all drive big trucks, and they all drive little trucks. So uh, it's a real spectrum of uh, people and applications for trucks. They love Ford trucks. They love our, our display, and they're a great group of human beings. Tom, it seems to me right off the bat like choices are one of the key selling features about this vehicle, both for sales consultants and, of course, for their customers. Oh, we really believe in choice, and that's why we're giving the customers a lot of choice here. We have our 333 strategy, we call it. Three GVWs, 26, 30, and 33. Three cabs, the regular. The four-door uh, super cab, which is an industry first, the four-door feature. And the four-door uh, crew cab. Then we have several best-in-class features, Mary. We have best-in-class braking both air and hydraulic. Then we have best-in-class NVH, noise, vibration, and harshness. And then we have best-in-class uh, ride and handling. And this is really a neat feature. And this is why the, the, I want the sales consultants to know they've got to get their customers out into the truck. This truck really feels like you're driving in a pickup, and that's at 60 or 65 miles an hour. It's a great feel out there. It also looks from the interior like you're driving a pickup. I mean, granted, you have to climb up to get inside, but once you're in, the amenities don't look that different. What type of trim levels do you offer? Well, we, ha we have two trim levels, XL and XLT, but the really neat feature of this, this is just the seamless extension from the 250 to, to 550 interior, okay? And we have uh, more authorized service centers out there uh, with the choice of the, the engine uh, combination, so that gives us more places where you can uh, sell this than service it. And really one of the ideas is that this just isn't that different from the rest of the truck lineup and that's kind of your whole goal isn't it? Oh, it, it sure is. What we like to say is uh, ask the customer how much he wants to carry and we got the truck for him. Alright, and they're not going to feel that different driving one to the other other than size. No, not at all. Alright, now as far as the very bottom line, what do you have there? You know you have the best weight rating we got the best everything, to tell you the truth. It's a Ford truck, and I think that's probably the most important thing. And everybody knows that Ford trucks are the best trucks. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a good way to sum it up. And actually, the people attending the show agree. Now, having said that, there's one tool available that I think is phenomenal, and it almost gives a whole new meaning to being a truck sales consultant, and mm -hmm. that's that new computer tool. Let's tell them about it. Oh, our new commercial truck tools. Uh, this is a great program, Mary. We previewed this at our winter dealer meetings. We had... 450 dealers sign up for it at our winter dealer meetings. And it allows the, the sales professional out there to spec out and price out a truck and really do a professional quotation for the customer, which is really a neat. And, you know, one of the neat things, you know, over two-thirds of commercial trucks aren't sold in the dealership. They're sold out in the customer's place of location. So what we have here is a, a portable a tool here, and it's, it's web-based, so you can take it with you, customer's uh, location. And, and you can even keep customer databases in it, right? Oh, yeah. So you like any customer that you've been working with, you just call it up, you know exactly what they have, what they've ordered in the past. Oh, yeah, and you ma maintain any, anything. If the customer wants a little change, the customer wants a little change, uh, you print out a new quote real easy for them. How about that? Another aspect, Tom, um, we should remind them is that in April we'll also be finalizing our predictor program, which will be added to commercial truck tools. So right. uh, weight distribution and performance prediction can be undertaken. Uh, that means uh, uh, that uh, the entire spectrum of uh, truck specking can be undertaken with just this one tool. Okay. And uh, one thing that we should stress, it was on the uh, full screen there, but it's that this is portable. So you can act, you know, these customers expect you to come to their place of business. You can take it with you, and you can even update the information via the Internet. That's, that's really neat. None of the information, like I said, is more than 24 hours old. You just connect into the Internet. It's, it's updated. And one of the things we did is uh, we are, we're offering a 30-day free trial with this. So when you call up that 800 number, if you haven't received your disk yet, get a 30-day free trial with the disk. All righty. Now, um, it also covers all of the truck line, which is something that I've learned from being at the show, and that's that businesses don't buy one type of vehicle. They may need a whole line of F650s, but they probably also have a delivery van. It might be a Econoline. They might have a maintenance truck, which could be an F650 
150, 250, 350. So they have a, a lot of different needs. And with this program, you can actually spec out lots of different models oh, within the from, truck family. From 150 to 750 and then all the Econoline. So it's really a neat program. Yeah, it sure is. Okay, and then the final piece of uh, information, because we're trying to let you know about all the tools that are out there to keep you up to date with selling these vehicles, and that's the um, application guide, and I think you actually sure, have Sure, I got it right here. here. This is We've sent this out, but these are still available at Gage if anybody needs any more of these, and it covers all F uh, 250 through 750, and it tells you, you know, a lot of times... A lot of times salespeople want it, uh, to know what size body put on what size truck. Another very important thing, uh, Mary, is that uh, we're illustrating to the customer that only Ford has a truck for every size, R right up the weight class uh, spectrum from one class 1 to class 7. We're the only manufacturer to have that. And as we add even more product going forward, it'll be clear that Ford is the one place you can shop for all your needs. Now, earlier in the month, we had a dealer meeting in Arizona, and it gave uh, the people from the truck division a chance to talk to dealers and fleet managers. All of them spent behind, time behind the wheel of either an F-650 or a 750. So what we're going to do now is take a minute and hear what they had to say. Initially, especially with the, the new 450 and 550, which have been out for several months, um, the customers just absolutely love those trucks. Uh, so this is the 650, 750 is kind of an extension of that. And I think that they'll be thrilled when they see the vehicles. Um, they're just, it's just a very handsome product. And uh, I think it'll do an excellent job out there. There's a, a wide range of power, uh, power trains. The CAT engine up to 250 horsepower is was, was fantastic. Uh, full air brakes. Um, I just think it'll be, it'll be a very, very well-received product. The Ford product uh, is more, you feel more comfortable. You don't feel as intimidated, even though it's as heavy of a truck it drives. Uh, like it's not. I think it's more comfortable. Um, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend it to a customer over an international. I can see this as having something that you're going to really have pride in selling. Uh, the turning ability, I think it's 53 percent uh, degree wheel cut. I've never heard of that in a product, so that's very impressive. Um, as well as just the looks, the appearance, uh, comfort. Uh, drivers are going to be very proud and happy to drive this vehicle. I think it's going to be a great product. Very good. The unit I drove had the power stroke engine in it with the automatic transmission and uh, even under full weight conditions it accelerated very well. Uh, handled great. I did some lane changes in it. I was very impressed with it. I think it's a fantastic looking truck. The, uh, the, sh the new sheet metal is really, really exciting. Uh, some of the key points that uh, I think our customers will just love are the sight lines on the vehicle. They're, they're fantastic. The uh, different cab configurations will be very, very exciting. I think, especially the Super Cab, we should be able to capitalize on that and just uh, grab a lot of market share. With these two new trucks, Ford now can fill GVW ratings from 8,500 to 33,000 pounds. Now, obviously, that's going to meet the needs of buyers from Class 2C all the way through Class 7. That's correct. But also, 33,000 pounds was the magic number for a particular reason, I understand. Well, above 33,000 pounds, you, uh, you have to pay 12% excise tax. And that's why everybody tries to stay within those limits. Nobody wants to pay any, out any more money than they have to, Mary. So we went to 33 right on the button, and that's no excise tax. Oh, and that's another big selling feature when you're talking about these trucks. Yes, it is. Another thing to keep in mind, uh, Mary, is that uh, Ford has taken the lead in filling in all the gaps in the weight classes uh, in the wake of the Surface Transportation Act of 1982, which moved these excise tax barriers from 10,000 to 33,000 pounds. And we're not done yet. We're going to continue to add content in class uh, three through seven so that every little niche is covered by Ford and only Ford. And tell me if I'm wrong, I was just going to say that, the competition's not taking that aggressive stance, are they? No, yeah. Now, we, of course, expect them to wake up eventually, but right now, it's only Ford that has the full product line. You know, there's another comment I can make too, Mary, and that is that for a customer like a landscaper that uses a whole spectrum of products from 250 through 750, also it familiarizes the drivers with one uh, instrument panel, one set of controls, one set of ergonomics, and even one diesel engine in the case of the power stroke. So it's, it's, it's just great for the customers that use a spectrum of trucks because they all look alike, they drive alike, they just get bigger.
Mm -hmm. Definitely point that out to your customers. All right, well, now's the time that I hope you've been waiting for. So far, we haven't given you much detail on the vehicle. So let's roll up our sleeves now and really look into the F650 and F750 in detail. Barb Samarsuch, who's the Super Duty F650 and 750 Chief Program Engineer, prepared a spectacular walk around of the vehicle. She's literally going to point out all of the selling features to you. So here she is. Hello. I'm Barb Samartsich, and I've had the pleasure of developing the F650-750 product over the last year and a half as the Chief Program Engineer. The message I hope to get across today as I review product features and attributes is excitement. I'm excited to have had the opportunity to work on this great product, and most importantly, we're excited about these trucks. We really do have an outstanding truck, superior to our competition in many ways, which I'll share with you over the next few minutes. First, the Super Duty F650 and 750 are a natural and seamless extension of the Super Duty truck family. They're manufactured with the same attention to quality and detail as our lower GVW Super Duties. You'll note tremendous steering and handling, extremely low noise, vibration, and harshness, and a variety of features that I'll go over in my presentation that really set this truck apart from the competition and have their roots in our F250 through 550 product. Drivers will note a very special similarity between F650 and 750 and other Ford vehicles. The interior, overall feel and appearance closely resembles our Super Duty lineup. Second and equally important, these are tough trucks designed from the ground up to meet the vocational needs of individuals and companies for whom a truck or a fleet of trucks is an essential part of doing business. Even though we put drivers and passengers in an environment of comfort and convenience that's almost unheard of in the commercial truck industry, we also deliver a truck that works and is work ready. So let's talk about the truck. We've mentioned the seamless extension of the Super Duty line, so let's start out with a common theme that runs through all the Super Duty products. A choice of three cabs, regular, super, and crew cabs. All three cab styles are available on F650 and 750 trucks. I want to highlight that the four-door super cab is an industry first. All cabs are built on the line as a regular production option, significantly less expensive than going through a bodybuilder or a modification center like many of our competitors are forced to do. We also maintain a higher quality consistent with that of our assembly plant environment. Most of the cab sheet metal and interior components are common with the F250 through 550 except for uniqueness driven by the Class 6 and 7 customer, such as our split bench front seat, mirrors, and air brake instrumentation. In fact, 80% of the cab is shared by the entire F-Series Super Duty lineup. Where the F650 and 750 differ is in the tilt forward hood necessary to ensure easy engine compartment access in these larger trucks, along with the grille and the fenders. Speaking of the hood, it's an all-new composite aerodynamic design. The extra slope that we've put in, along with lowering the belt line, has improved visibility significantly, adding more degrees of sight line when compared to our outgoing product. The all-new interior is consistent with the Super Duty models, available in two trim levels, XL and XLT. The XLT model providing an upgraded air seat, power locks and windows, and other amenities, all focused on comfort and convenience. This is the most comfortable, best driving truck in its class. It's easy to drive, designed for nearly everyone from the 5th to the 95th percentile. So let's move on to the steering and handling. This is an area where many manufacturers claim their product is the best. Well, we've driven their products and we can tell you F650, F750 are the best in class. And how do we do it? It's partly an extension of the basic platform on which this entire line of Super Duty trucks is built and partly through designed and features that were developed while the truck was still on the drawing board. Power steering is standard equipment. We have a compact steering wheel like our cars and light trucks. In fact, the 15 and a half inch wheel used with our 9K front axle is the same as Ford's best-selling F-150 pickup. With our 12K axle, we have a slightly larger 17 and a half inch steering wheel. But the heart of the steering improvements is in the steering geometry. We have a forward mounted steering gear, and geometry changes to improve the centering and tracking abilities. We've improved the wheel turn angles with cuts up to 50 to 53 degrees possible depending on the suspension ordered, 
providing our customers with enhanced mobility in cramped urban areas where these trucks are often used. We've enhanced ride, handling, and roll stiffness. Rear suspension improvements include an increase in the effective length of the multi-leaf springs by 8 inches. We've gone from a slipper slipper to a pin slipper attachment. So what does that mean? It means we've taken out components, we've reduced weight, and we've reduced friction, all leading to improved ride. We have variable spring rates and optional auxiliary springs. On the front suspension, we've increased the length and width of the multi-leaf springs. We've gone from a pin slipper to a pin shackle attachment and have an optional stabilizer bar as part of an overall handling package. We've set our truck up to handle better than any of our competitors. All in all, the F650 and 750 provide a superior feeling of control, especially when it's operated at highway speeds. It feels and handles much more like a light truck than the traditional Class 6 and 7 truck feel. Now let's go to the back of the vehicle and take a look at the chassis. There are three gross vehicle weights offered on the F650-750. They are 26,000 pounds, badged F650, and 30 and 33,000 pounds, badged F750. You should note that at or below 26,000 pounds, no commercial driver's license is required. Below 33,000 pounds, you avoid the federal excise tax. Now all that weight is carried on heavy-duty frames, capable of handling multiple locations. We've got a reinforced 8.5 inch frame with 50 PSI steel and an 18 section modulus on our 26 and 30 K trucks. We also have a heat treated 9.5 inch frame on our 33 K truck with 110 PSI steel and a 15.9 section modulus. Ford has the heaviest standard frame in the industry. Optional frames must be ordered on our competitors to get the same robustness. Now let's talk wheelbases and cab to axle distances. We did extensive research to determine the most popular wheelbases and cab to axle distances for our target vocations. We have seven wheelbases covering a range from 158 to 260 inches. For the regular cab, we offer five wheelbases between 158 and 260 and cab to axles between 84 and 186 inches. There are three wheelbases and cab to axles for the super cab, wheelbases starting at 179 inches and three wheelbases and cab to axles for the crew cab also, wheelbases starting at 194 inches. We've made sure that the longest wheelbases are available on all three cab styles, allowing for maximum flexibility. When it comes to carrying your load, our axle offerings include 9 and 12K front axles and 17 and a half, 21 and 23K rear axles. Consistent with supplying improved safety features for our customers and meeting or exceeding applicable regulatory requirements, we have four-channel ABS on both braking systems. We have hydraulic, four-wheel disc brakes, and air brakes. Our air brakes include standard auto slack adjusters and a new air brake reservoir package for easier installation. Those of you familiar with our F800 product may remember that it took up to as many as four reservoirs to accomplish this same task. Now let's talk about the engine lineup. This is another area that we're very excited about. In addition to carrying over the Cummins engine, we've added both Caterpillar and the Ford branded Power Stroke diesel engines. Even though Power Stroke is used all the way down to the F-250s, it's still got plenty of power for these larger trucks. Our engine selection will be a big plus because it will appeal to customers who may be very particular about the brand of engine they'll purchase. Here are some facts about each of the engines. The Cummins ISB 175 horsepower 5.9 liter inline 6 is standard in the F650 and 750. Optional engines include upgrading that Cummins I6 to 195 horsepower. The Ford Power Stroke 7.3 liter V8 at 210 horsepower and the Caterpillar 3126, a 7.2 liter inline six engine, offered at horsepowers between 190 and 250. And we've got plenty of torque, up to 660 pound feet of torque on the Cat 250. All the engines are turbocharged and intercooled, as well as electronically controlled. The Power Stroke engine has the same engine electronics, our EEC system, that's in all our products. All vehicles are equipped with a fuel water separator and a fuel heater can be either standard or optional based on the engine ordered. 
Attached to these engines, of course, are a full complement of industry standard transmissions. We have six manual transmissions, four from Eaton and two from Spicer. Eaton transmissions include FS transmissions in both five and six speeds. We also have seven-speed Spicer transmissions in lieu of a two-speed rear axle. Our automatic transmissions are from the Allison family. We have the AT545, a four-speed, and the heavier-duty MD transmissions in both five- and six-speed versions. Finally, no presentation on a new Ford truck would be complete without discussing quality, reliability, and durability, the measurables behind the built Ford Tough brand. I want to personally assure you that these vehicles have undergone rigorous development and durability prove-out consistent with all our products and design standards. These trucks are built Ford Tough. This is our business and you, our sales consultants, are an integral part of it. I think it's important for all of us to know that this is a market we've led before and we intend to lead again. We've been a major presence and we're currently a major presence. Let's not forget that over 30% of the Class 6 and 7 trucks currently on the road are Ford Motor Company products. We now have the wherewithal, the determination, and the product to put ourselves back on top. Obviously a fabulous presentation by Barb. I want to tell you a little bit more about the Ride and Drive that we talked about. Earlier we mentioned that there was a Ride and Drive event for all key fleet and commercial customers. It took place last month at the Ford Motor Company Arizona Proving Ground. Now this is an amazing facility. It stretches over 3,800 acres. It's 40 miles of road test Ford products through varying grades, road surfaces, temperatures, and elevations. Now the average maximum temperature sits at about 103 degrees and it usually never gets any colder than 59 degrees. So before your customer gets behind the wheel of the new vehicles, be sure and tell them that Ford has scrutinized and tested every last detail of these amazing trucks. Now for the past year and a half, these trucks have endured extreme conditions until they met or exceeded Ford truck quality standards. That's a great durability story to pass along to your customers, again, during your sales presentations. In the, the durability test uh, that we run mainly on medium trucks uh, is a, uh, it's a 25,400 mile route. Uh, we run uh, through a twist ditch, 12 inch deep ditch, run through that 9,600 times. We run through body twist, which is a quarter mile, a four inch high, uh, approximately 20 foot between them various body body twisting events okay over concrete and uh, that uh, we run over 7,000 times uh, also in the event we run cobblestones two segments of cobblestones one called accelerated durability north loop and we run it at uh, 20 about 27 mile an hour we run through at uh, we run through at 2375 times uh, in the 25,000 miles other events uh, are gravel road uh, have a 4.3 mile gravel road which uh, kicks up dust, rocks, and so forth, okay, and also has a lot of chatter bumps in the gravel. As far as uh, ride and handling, we've done the development on the ride and handling uh, over the last uh, year and a half or two years, and we believe we have a very good handling vehicle there. We've changed the spring designs, both front and rear, in order to make the vehicle more stable and, and better handling, and we've adjusted the spring weights to get the uh, ride rate right for each vehicle and each vehicle combination. We also offer it right, as an option uh, for ride and handling. We have a stabilizer bar in front, which you would use with auxiliary springs for the heavy duty kind of user. Well, the fleet managers and dealers who had a chance to witness the testing and then drive the 650 and 750 had plenty to say about the new trucks. So let's listen in. First thing that stands out is the uh, cab. Uh, the, the new cab configuration has a great deal of driver comfort and quietness in the room and serviceability and all those kinds of things for an individual that is driving and has responsibility for filling out of forms and things of that nature can do that. Uh, we noticed a high degree of quietness, a high degree of comfort in, the, in driving the vehicle. Ford F650 uh, and 750 had a more positive feel. Um, I think Ford has uh, done a good job in engineering the steering on on these new trucks uh, and I feel that maybe the uh, uh, longer springs may have had an effect on the ride because it's it's almost like riding in a car and you get that feel when you're in the cab that it's like riding in a car. Oh I think this is far and above uh, a much better much better truck overall characteristics I love the handling again 
uh, the acceleration, braking, everything just is su supreme and superb to what we've had in the past with the F-800. Well, obviously, we've covered a lot of ground today, and we're just about out of time. One more time, let's just reiterate anything you want to say, but also let's uh, reiterate how these things handle, because driving them really is the experience. Oh, they drive wonderfully well, and once again, you've got to get in the truck to do it. But I think the thing that we think, Mary, is we think we have the strategy absolutely correct. We have a seamless product line from 250 through 750, and we have three cabs, three engines, three GVWs. We think we got the bases covered, and we can we'll build from there. But uh, we're very, very, very excited about it. Great. All right. Well, thank you both for joining us today, and thank we look you, forward Mary. to seeing you again Our soon. Our pleasure. All right. Well, I'm going to let all of you get back to work. We just want to say one more time that this was really an exciting venue and the perfect spot for launching the Super Duty F650 and F750. They're trucks that promise to open up new and profitable opportunities for you and your dealership and it sounds like you're already very aware of that but in case you're not we're going to leave you today with one last look at the mobs of people that are here they're doing a presentation directly behind us and I'll hold my microphone hopefully you can hear them talking take advantage of this business these people are enthused and they're ready to come into your dealerships so until we see you again on behalf of Ford Education and Training I'm Mary Curran thank you for joining us today good luck with the F650 and F750 as well as the entire F Series lineup. And one more time, let's take a look at this crowd. He's got pride in his heart, dirt on his hands. There's one place to find a hard working man for country. Look at that truck for country. Built forward tough for country. When the work gets done for country, there it goes. together the work's all done there's one place to go when the weekend comes for country look at that truck for country gonna kick up some dust for country where the open road runs for country there it goes Drive on out to Ford Country.